trying to get my hair out of the way. <laughs> right after a storm starts, we're going to get a lot of congestion on the roads, and that's what has caused problems in the past. The forecast is highly variable. The city had their plan, and we had ours. We would cover everywhere all the time, starting well before dawn and lasting till well after the evening commute. We're ready for anything. I couldn't stand the suspense. I woke up as soon as the light was outside and opened the curtains and... Well, it hasn't gotten here yet. Let's look closely. It's kind of sleety stuff. Kind of all melty too. Slush-like, but not snow. Just pellets of ice that really aren't very many places. The first thing I noticed was a TriMet bus with its emergency flashers on and its chains driving at 30 miles an hour on the bare pavement of Highway 224. Meanwhile, my colleague Dave Killen had launched into action. His time-lapse camera would capture the four to six inches of snow that was forecast for this morning. Hitting the road, he would offer, again, safe driving tips. All right, here's a good example. This guy behind me, this guy behind me is following up with those conditions. So... Wet, but not slick. Of course, this report may evolve as the day goes on and we'll be updating it as soon as we have something to say about everything.